Electric powered heat pumps don't work in the cold. In temperatures under 30 degrees, they work poorly. Under 10 degrees, they don't work at all. Nonsense. Heat pumps can work um, as low as minus 20 degree temperatures. That's why they're so popular in Scandinavian countries. In Norway, one in three people have a heat pump. They do use a bit more energy um, when it's colder outside, but they're still more efficient than a gas boiler. Oh, I like this one. They <laughs> call these new heat pumps councillors because they're noisy, expensive and useless. What does this guy have against councillors? Heat pumps are not noisy, that's a massive myth. They literally need to be less than 42 decibels, which is about the same as a dishwasher or a gas boiler, which normally sit inside your home, but of course they're sitting outside your home. Natural gas is by far the cleanest energy source we have for heating right now. Electric heat pumps are more expensive and are much less efficient. I mean, I don't know how they can say natural gas is it's the cleanest. Heat pumps are by far the cleanest things out there. They're four times more efficient, which means they use four times less energy and they can be powered by green energy as well. And that's not even talking about smart therapy. Heat pump is too expensive and too much work. Homes can get a heat pump for around three to four thousand pounds, which is about the same as a gas boiler. It can be a bit more expensive if you've got a larger, more complex, less insulated home, but generally it's less than around eight thousand pounds. Um, and that's just the price of the day. We're constantly innovating and scaling our business to try and bring down that cost and make it even more affordable. Heat pumps don't work very well in a lot of homes unless they are extremely well insulted. I think that's meant to be insulated. And um, they also take up a lot of space and are expensive. Most homes have more than enough insulation for a heat pump. Uh, we estimate about 70% of homes in the UK are good to go. If you do need some insulation, it's normally something quite cheap, like loft or cavity wall insulation, which you can do for a few hundred pounds. You just can't install an inefficient heat pump these days. There are lots of standards in place to make sure that it hits minimum efficiency. In terms of space, they're about the same size as a bike or a small moped. So if you can fit one of those outside your house, they're probably fine for a heat pump. Inside, you need room for a hot water tank, which are quite big today, but there's lots of innovation going on in that space. Gas furnaces are so much better than heat pumps. There are so many things that can go wrong with a heat pump. They don't last as long and they just don't heat as well. It's actually completely the opposite. So heat pumps have far less moving parts and they don't burn anything. And there are much lower temperatures, which means they're much easier to maintain. Experts say that heat pumps last around 20 years plus, whilst a gas boiler normally lasts 10 to 15 years. 